Hi folks, it's Steve Grizzetti here, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guides to Premier Elements, Vegas Movie Studio Platinums, Cyberlink Power Director, DVD Architect, and any number of other video editing programs. And today I want to show you a program that you probably aren't even aware of, even though you may already have it on your computer. Now here I am on my Windows 10 computer. Most people are aware of a program called iMovie, which is available on a Macintosh or an iMac. It's a great little program for doing basic video assembly, and it's got some cool high-end features too. Well, Windows, not to be outdone, has created their own version of it called the Windows Video Editor. To get to it, just go down to your taskbar and click on the little start button here in the lower left and scroll through your list of programs and there in the V's you'll find the video editor. Now the Windows video editor is actually part of Windows Photos which is if you look over here in the upper left hand corner if you click on this it's a system for cataloging and saving your files so that you can produce slideshows and other projects out of them. But let's go back in here to video projects and in video projects we can create videos. Now you can see down here in the lower part of the interface that some projects have already been created automatically. The program goes through your computer if it finds things that thinks belongs together. For instance, a lot of photos that involve smiling or a lot of photos that involve people wearing sunglasses, it will create a project for you. But let's create a new video project just by clicking on the plus button here in the upper left. And we're going to name it because if you don't name your project, you're going to have a whole bunch of projects called new video. So we'll call this one fun with friends. Naturally, you can add a title later if you'd like. And the first thing you want to do is gather your media. So I'm going to click on the add button here in the upper left corner of the project library. And I'm going to gather my media from my PC. Now I haven't fully tested this on every video format out there, but on most video formats I've tried, the program does a wonderful job of accepting them. So these are AVC HD video that I shot with my camcorder. I'm just gonna hold down the shift key and grab the first and last in the sequence and just grab about a dozen of them here and we'll click open and they'll be imported into the project. Now, once they're in my project library, I can add them to my storyboard down here along the bottom of the interface and I can drag them either as a group or one at a time. And naturally, if I'd like to change the order of them, that's very simple too. Now you notice down in the lower left of each one of these little thumbnails, we see a number that is the running time of each clip. So 12 seconds, 12.69 seconds, 16.47 seconds. We can leave that as is, or we can trim it. In other words, if I don't want to use all 12 and a half seconds of this video clip, I can select it and either click on the trim button here along the top of the timeline or storyboard line or right click and select the option to trim opens up the same workspace and here I can cut off some of the beginning only saving the good part of the video and when I click done you notice now my clip is only eight and a half seconds long now once we've created a, a basic video project or once we've arranged our story uh, we can do a lot more with it here we can add some effects to it uh, we can add some titles to it that we're going to take a look at a little bit later one thing i have not been able to figure out how to do is add transitions between the clips but maybe that's not a necessary function anyway i hope you'll stay with me for all six parts of this basic training tutorial series for the windows video editor and a program that's likely already on your computer now